Hi everyone, it's Lou Collins. Today I'd like to show you in this video tutorial how to create this gorgeous metallic halo effect around your stamped images. It's really fun, it's kind of a bit distressed, a little bit grungy, it looks a little bit like you've put gilding flakes behind your stamps. It's so, so easy to do and I'd like to guarantee that you've probably got the products at home that you need to create it. So let's jump straight into the tutorial. So the items you're going to need to create this effect are some cardstock. Now my preference is watercolour cardstock. This is my favourite one. I will link it in the description, but it doesn't have to be watercolour. You can use general cardstock, which is what I've done with the black here. You want a cardstock that's going to allow water to seep through it, wick through it a little bit. And you'll see why when we get into the tutorial. So you're going to need some water. I prefer to have it in a spray bottle. Some embossing powder, now this doesn't have to be gold. I love the look of the black on the gold. You can really mix up your colours of both the ink and the embossing powder. You can go with pastels, you could go with white, you could go with silver, whatever you fancy. Have a go with them all and let me know how you get on. Then you're going to need a solvent ink pad. So something like a stays on that is going to stick to your glossy surface of your embossing powder once you've achieved the halo effect. Then you're going to need some stamps as well. I'm using my texture stamps. I've got my Mariposa sentiments here, which is where I'm using the word beautiful from. And I've got my in the stars and I'm using this really fun moon and arrows here. So I've zoomed right in here so hopefully you can see exactly what I'm doing. Now I've placed my stamp that I want to use for my image onto my watercolour cardstock inside a stamp platform. And I'm just going to pick it up as normal. And I'm going to spritz my stamp with some water. So two or three spritzes there, making sure the entire cut surface of the stamp is covered. But these droplets around the edge, I don't want them dripping onto my paper. So there is a fine line between doing not enough and too much. I also like to very often take the excess with a tissue and just lift that up. That just prevents, like I say, that water just dripping down onto your paper. There we go. So just run around the edge so that there's not too much there. And then I'm going to turn this over and I'm going to press this lightly down onto my watercolour cardstock and I'm going to hold it there. So I'm just lift that up so you can see I'm just squeezing it so that the stamp's touching the paper. You can do this in any stamping platform or you can even do it if you just use a handheld acrylic block. And I'm just really allowing the watercolour paper to start soaking up that water. Now it's only going to be soaking it up in the area where the stamp touches the paper. But what we are also going to be getting is a kind of wicking effect. So I'm going to do this two or three times to make sure I've got the entire image there covered. You can push down harder if you feel you need it, but just be wary of not letting those water droplets from the outside on the platform touch the paper. So just pressing that down and you can take a look at it because it's in a stamp platform. I've got quite a good coverage there. Now what you want to do is give that maybe 30 seconds. So hopefully you can see that there's a blurred image. That's exactly what we want. We don't really want it dripping anywhere. So just be careful not to allow that to happen. I'm going to gently lift this up, take it away from my stamp platform for now. And that's probably had enough time to slowly start the water just bleeding out into the paper. After too long, it will just start to dry. And you want to spread embossing powder of your chosen colour all over the surface of the water, the paper there, and allow that to cling on like so. A little flick will just take any excess grains away. There we go. Beautiful. And as you can see, we've got that blurred image. Now we're going to heat set this. And if you like to, you can repeat the process after you've heat set it once with the water if you feel you've not added enough or the image isn't blurred enough. So I'm just going to take my little hands here, silicone hands. These are Ranger ones. I'm going to heat set this. Now be aware that the embossing powder will take longer than usual to melt because that water, the dampness in the paper is going to keep it cool for a little bit longer. Now you can do this from underneath or on top, it doesn't matter. Either way, the embossing powder is in the right place to now be melted. So now we have our blurry stamped image 
that's kind of going to be your gold halo. Now we're going to come back to our stamp platform. Before you put your paper in, make sure you dry off all the excess. Bear in mind though you've been spraying with water, your stamp may well come away. So just dry everything off, put your paper back in and place your stamp back over the top. So now we're going to lift that up and this time we're going to stamp it with our solvent ink. So my chosen one is stays on. You can get stays on in lots of different colours as well so you can get some really fun effects. I think um, embossing this in white onto a coloured cardstock and then stamping it in either black or even stamping it in a brown for a really vintage look would look amazing. Now this time you can press down much much harder, that ink isn't going to be going anywhere, just make sure you've got it covered. So I need a little bit more down the bottom here. Bear in mind your embossing powder will be glossy. So there we've got our effect and as we saw here, it's going to be slightly different every time. I actually press down harder with my stamp so I've got more black showing, more detail showing than this one. But you're going to have so much fun with this effect. Now let's take a look at doing it on the black cardstock. This time I'll use a different stamp. I'm going to use this Fly High stamp from the Textures Mariposa collection. And again, I'm going to go onto a cardstock. It's not a watercolour cardstock, this one. This is just a smooth black stamping cardstock. You want to use your water quite sparingly again, but definitely repeat stamp if need be. I'm just going to hold this on. Now, this has some really quite fine lines in it, this image. If I just hold that up so the light's not on it, you can see that a little bit better. Um, so just hold it, you can see it goes black as I press it down, press that water down and allow that to just start soaking into the paper a little. Lift it up and have a look and I can see there I've got a really nice image, lots of water on there. That is drying really quite quickly so I'm going to act fast with this one. And I'm going to go with white rather than gold just to show you another effect. Once again, once your embossing powder has cooled down, you can reposition your stamp ready for the last layer, the black layer to go on top. Pick your stamp up, add on the stays on. And how beautiful is that again? You've just got that gorgeous background to it kind of like a halo around it, a bit of light shining behind it. So you'll find lots of different uses for this stamp technique. We've got it on white and we've got it on black. Definitely try it different colours on different colour cardstock as well and let me know what you think. For more stamping tricks and tutorials you can definitely subscribe to my channel and you'll find lots there in the videos and I think you're also really going to like this video just here. Thanks for joining me today everybody, I hope to see you again really soon.